19 minutes past six. The batteries in your phone, camera or e-reader could pose a fire risk when you're on a plane, according to the air safety regulator. The Civil Aviation Authority is warning that powerful lithium batteries can be dangerous if they develop a fault or are stored incorrectly. Well, our transport correspondent Richard Westcott has been looking into it and he joins us now. Morning, Richard. Morning. Morning, yeah. I, th I think the key here is don't panic. Mm -hmm. right? You're not going to suddenly get on an aircraft and, and everything that you have is going to explode. But everything that you've got, all your phones and your tablets and so on, has, has got this little battery inside called a, a, well, it's made of lithium, lithium mm -hmm. battery. And it's just more powerful than most other batteries. Okay? That's why it's so good. It lasts longer and so on. But when they explode, when they go wrong, which is very, very rare, they're all highly tested, it, it can cause a fire, it can get this chemical runaway and so on. Also, that is not what you want on an aircraft. So the Civil Aviation Authority is basically saying we, we need to kind of be across this and train crews on how to deal with it and so on. Watch this film now because we started exploding some just to show you what happens, OK? So okay. have a look at this. They might be small, but if they go wrong, they pack a hell of a punch. The average airliner will have hundreds of lithium batteries on board in our phones, laptops, cameras, tablets. It's very rare for them to end up like this. We forced these to fail by heating them up. But Britain's air safety watchdog has told the BBC it's especially concerned about people flying with untested, counterfeit batteries bought online. Any fire on an aircraft is a very serious incident, and yes, a fire can result in the loss of an aircraft. That's why it's so important that the very stringent international safety standards are adhered to. Well, you saw how dramatic that was. It was just a normal laptop battery. There's the before, and there is no after. It's completely disintegrated. Just imagine something like that exploding on an aircraft. And batteries have already gone wrong. In April 2012, a flight attendant on a US aircraft described a shooting fire in the aisle from a passenger's burning battery. They managed to put it out using wet towels from the drinks cart. The following September, another flight attendant and two passengers were burnt, dealing with an overheating phone and spare battery on board. There have been other similar incidents around the world. The standard response for dealing with a portable electronic device fire is as follows. This training video is one of several about to go online to help airlines, airport workers and passengers understand the risks. Still, one testing expert's keen to dampen fears. Most batteries go through an extensive quality control process and battery manufacturers, although they're putting a lot of work into increasing the capacity of these batteries and actually having more energy in them, they will also continue doing work on improving the safety mechanisms that are built into their batteries. If you're flying with lithium batteries, the regulator's advice is to tape up any exposed metal connectors or put it in a plastic bag and always carry them in your hand luggage. 2013 was the safest year in aviation history, but the threat from fire remains as great as ever. Mm. Well, I suppose the, the real concern is the, 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 not the, the genuine batteries, but the, the, sort of the copycat ones. Yeah, right? I think more and more people are going online to get cheaper batteries because they're very expensive. Oh. And what they are especially worried about is those are the batteries that haven't been put through the sort of rigorous safety systems. Okay? Not every battery you buy online, but there are cheap copycats online that haven't gone through the rigorous safety and um, procedures that a normal battery would go through. And that's what mm. they're worried about. Okay? Well, no, no, um, somebody's written and said, well, never mind the planes. What, what's the danger to us in our homes? Well, yeah, potentially. If you're charging a computer or something, that, that is when I'm told it is, it is most likely to happen. But don't forget, there are billions of these things everywhere, and, you know, they are all put through this sort of rigorous uh, testing system. So you don't need to worry that your computer is going to suddenly explode. But if something like that does happen, especially if you have bought a, a counterfeit battery and it's cheaper and it hasn't gone through that testing system, then you, obviously you unplug it. We've got the safety advice online as well, so if you go on, there's, a, there's an article about this and it tells you what to do. If you want to get water on that battery but obviously not when the computer's plugged in yes. so you have yes. to get the battery out and then put it in water and that's that's how you get it out and you told us there as well so if you're on going on board a plane you put it in a plastic bag 
We're yeah. quite used to carrying plastic bags now, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or tape it up, is that what we need yeah, to do? Yeah, it's those metal connectors. They had a bad bag at San Diego, came around the carousel smoking, yeah. because there was a battery inside and it had touched a screwdriver that the guy had in his bag, and they both melted. It was the metal on the metal. So basically, you carry it in your, onto the plane with you. You don't put it in the hold. Uh, and then you put it in a plastic bag just to seal it up or keep it in its original packaging. This is spare batteries. Mm. Or yeah. you cover up the metal parts. So these are the, these are the, the, if you've got, you're carrying spare batteries. And mm. we've, they've had this whole business about whether you can use these devices on planes or not and during takeoff and, and landing. I mean, mm. Is there a, an issue about how much we use them while we're actually well, in I flight? Think quite the opposite. They're loosening all that up. So mm. basically, the EU are loosening regulation. So now you don't actually have to switch your phone off when you're taking off. You have to put it in airplane mode, but you don't yeah. have to switch it off on a lot of airlines now. We are moving towards surfing online. Okay, the, the pilots have got it in the cockpit. They've got um, tablet computers, which they use all the time. So this is going to happen more and more, and they know that. No one's saying stop it or ban mm. it. They just want sort of slightly tighter safety around right. it. So the last piece of peace and quiet is going to go, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What a thanks Hello? Very much. Yeah, I'm on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, thanks very much. Thank you.